From NBC Studios in New York, it's Late Night with Conan O'Brien. <laughs> Tonight, Gina Gershon, Sports Feud, Mike Beck, Comic Gary Valentine, and Don King explains everything. With Andy Richter and the Max Weinberg 7. Now, here's your host, Conan. program for you this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you uh, for tuning in, being with us tonight. And I want to talk about something right up front that I read in the tabloids, if that's okay. We all read the tabloids, right? Admit it. Let's not be... Okay. That's nine trashy people on my side, okay. No, this is true. This is in the tabloids. I want to talk about it. The latest issue of Star Magazine reports that Kathy Lee Gifford has forgiven Frank and is pregnant with his baby. That's true. Now, here's my question. Why is it that when Frank Gifford has an affair, we get punished? That's what I'm curious about. It's not, that's not fair. I, uh, this is going to sound like a lie. This really happened in Scotland, reading the newspaper. In Scotland, no, not, I wasn't reading the paper in Scotland. That screws everything up. In Scotland, a dog bit off a person's lip. So doctors removed the lip from the dog's stomach and sewed it back on. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, the doctors say the surgery was very experimental and won't be perfected until the next Tyson fight. And then they'll have uh, figured it out. Yeah. Big story if you're a uh, science nerd, uh, anthropologists announced yesterday that according to new research, Neanderthals are not the ancestors of modern humans. That's right, and uh, after hearing this, John Tesh said, we're not. <laughs> I, uh, was confused. <laughs> the crowd reacted a little, you know, they weren't sure, because John Tesh is in the audience, actually. <laughs> they felt like, he's right here, what can we do? It is, it is a warning to the kids out there, that's what happens when you go into New Age music. <laughs> exactly. You get made fun of on talk. Exactly, show. that's what's going to happen. And then, uh, this is something we've all been uh, hearing about on the radio and in newspapers everywhere. Cigarette company, R.J. Reynolds, said they're dropping Joe Camel because they've come up with a more effective ad campaign. Yeah. That's right. Uh, and uh, then they unveiled their new mascot, Joe Penishead. <laughs> they... Uh, he's a happy... buy a cigarette off that guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's happened to the network standard? All right, uh, let's talk about tonight's show. We're, uh, we're thrilled. We have a real movie star with us tonight from the movie Face Off, which is a great movie I saw it the other day. Terrific movie. Gina Gershon is with us today. <laughs> This uh, second guest is fascinating. He's a promoter, very controversial promoter and owner of the minor league baseball team, the St. Saint Paul Saints. He's a fascinating guy. Mike Veck is on the show. There's a lot to talk about with Mike Veck. And then, rounding out the bill, a very funny comedian, Gary Valentine, will perform for you. And right here, ladies and gentlemen, look at him. Isn't he purdy? Max Weinberg and his Max Weinberg 7. Max, I bow to you. Friday, huh? 
huh? Yep. You got a love Friday. Got a love Friday. You got some of your girly makeup on your <laughs> suit there. Thanks, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, uh, some of your natural pigment rubbed off. <laughs> Thank you. That's better. People can't know we wear girly makeup. <laughs> Uh, they do. It's, it's kind of shocking. It is. Do you mind getting the makeup on before the show? No. I, well, I mean, it, it, it's not like the greatest thing for your skin. You know. No. I mean, I'd, I'd rather not have brown goo smeared on my face every day. <laughs> yeah. But. Um, but I need but it. I don't. I mean, you I actually kind of need it too. Yeah. But uh, let's know. face it. I really need it. <laughs> I. I am the whitest person that right, ever lived. Right. You, you know? would actually, you wouldn't be able to see your eyes and mouth because it would be so white hot. Exactly. It would look like some sort of special effect. No, I'm just one of those people. I don't have the, the makeup on and people just always, are you okay? <laughs> are you all you right? Look faint. Yeah. It's just that Irish skin I mm -hmm. have. I'm supposed to be living in a bog in Northern Ireland. That's what I'm supposed <laughs> to be doing instead of being here, you know? It is weird though, w w having the makeup on like if, if, We've been doing something, and I have makeup on, and I'll go downstairs, like, to the drugstore or something. Mm -hmm. And then I realize halfway through, you know, purchasing the toothpaste or whatever, oh, my God, I have a face full of makeup. And everyone's looking at me like I'm a drag queen or something. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It I, is a little noticeable. There is that rumor going around. Yes. You know? I mean, I am wearing a dress when exactly, I go down Exactly, which doesn't help. And don't forget, don't forget the tiara yeah, that the you're tiara. wearing. <laughs> And the eyelashes with the glitter. <laughs> All right. Well, enough talk about your drag queen private <laughs> right. life and my girly makeup. <laughs> Hiya, fellas. Uh... <laughs>